It's National Telecommunicators Week, and Life EMS is giving us a look at its newly expanded and renovated control center and honoring its workers for saving lives. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how new technology is working to improve emergency medical care in West Michigan. The phone calls inside Life EMS's Grand Rapids Control Center never stop. Where are you injured? And now dispatchers have a new center with the latest tools to make sure ambulances can get to people in need as quickly as possible. We have just recently improved um, uh, and expanded to allow for additional growth, additional emergency medical dispatch positions as we call it with the computer infrastructure. Life EMS President Mark Myers says the company now provides service to 10 Michigan counties and the center plays a crucial role in making sure people get the emergency care they need. If somebody calls 911 for medical help um, in a, a Life EMS response area, whether it's in the city of Grand Rapids or, or in the county, um, uh, the 911 dispatcher will immediately connect that caller uh, with our medical dispatchers here at Life EMS um, the minute they find out that that 911 request is for medical help. The dispatchers then determine the severity of the call and send an ambulance to the location. The center uses artificial intelligence that helps Life EMS station its vehicles. The red areas on the map show the places expected to have the greatest need. We have software working in the background that basically is is AI, if you will, artificial intelligence that um, uses data up until the last 20 minutes ago to determine as best we can where the next emergency request is going to happen. The center handles more than 450,000 calls a year and more than 1,250 calls a day. Designers work to improve the lighting and make the space more comfortable for employees. We've tried to, to soften things as best we can. We have artwork on the walls. The project also expanded the break room to give dispatchers a more inviting place to take a break from the calls. A very, very pleased, successful outcome. Meyer presented an award to Nick Heinrich, who helped save a child who was choking with a Heart Saver Award as part of National Telecommunicators Week. The company's president says he's grateful for the life-saving work of the employees and hopes the new space will better meet their needs and the community's needs as the company grows. We were getting to the um, max capacity of our previous center, and so we had to work out something efficiency-wise that our, better, our people could better communicate amongst themselves. And so clearly, uh, we, we had to do some significant upgrades in our mind to, to stay at the level of quality that we were at. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.